Hey everyone, today I will be painting this girl who is surrounded by donuts. As you may know, I've been writing a story, and in the story I have a lot of characters. And the way I usually come up with characters is I'll draw them first, and based off what I see on the paper, I'll come up with a name and a story for said character. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. And as you can see, I already have a character here. And she doesn't have a name yet or a story or anything. And I usually don't uh, make stories about characters like this. Because as you can see, she is surrounded by donuts. And I don't know how to make a story about that. Unless, like, she lives in Donut Land or something. But anyway, first we're going to do first thing that we're going to do is come up with a name for her. And looking at her, I can see that she looks like she's kind of shocked. But then the question would be why. I don't know why. Also, she has a kind of uh, cutesy feel about her. And she has really curly hair. And she's surrounded by cute things. Because donuts can be cute. So, I'm going to think of a name that sounds like it would fit her. Huh. Hmm. I'm gonna call her Sprinkles. That is so random, but I'm gonna call her Sprinkles. And I'm gonna say she's about mm, 15 or 16. Okay, so now we have her name, which is Sprinkles, and we have her age. So now she has to have some type of background story. Hmm. Why is she surrounded by donuts? She lives in Donut Land, okay? She lives in Donut Land. And she is the Donut Princess. Now, she doesn't have a crown because where she's from, uh, you don't need crowns. <laughs> the amount of donuts that you have, uh, that, that's how you determine whether you're royalty or not. Let's just say that. Okay. So now we know she's a princess, a donut princess in Donut Land, and her name is Princess. I'm going to make this a little more interesting. Not only is she a donut princess, but she also has donut powers, so she can conjure up donuts at will. And that's an awesome superpower. And also she can eat as many donuts as she wants, and she will not be affected by that. So that's her superpower. So now she has a name, and we basically know what her character is like. Well, not really. We don't know what she's like. Hmm. She's nice. I'm gonna say she's nice. And she likes to play checkers. Okay, so now we're gonna come up with a story for this character. Well, we know that she has a superpower, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that she is a superhero. And she fights crime with donuts. Uh, she doesn't like Broccoli Man. That's the villain, Broccoli Man. Now, Sprinkles and Broccoli Man, they're trying to gain the love of the people. And Broccoli Man is trying to tell everyone that the best food ever is broccoli. But Sprinkles doesn't agree with that. Sprinkles thinks that donuts are the best food in the whole entire universe. So her and Broccoli Man are always at odds. And... They usually have battles in the middle of the street, throwing food at each other. So, one day, Sprinkles discovers that donuts are not exactly good for you because they're fried and covered in sugar and stuff. And she's beginning to realize that maybe Broccoli Man was right all along. Maybe donuts aren't the best food in the whole entire universe. And this makes her feel kind of sad. So, she goes on a journey. She's trying to find the perfect donut recipe so that her donuts can be healthy and that people can eat them all the time and never get sick. So, one day, Sprinkles leaves home and she leaves with her handmaiden, Buttercream. And they both travel to the uh, mysterious land of... Recipetopia, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna uh, try to find 
the perfect donut recipe. Along the way to Recipe Topia, uh, Buttercream and Sprinkles, they face many obstacles. For instance, they have to um, defeat Nacho Man. Nacho Man is Nacho Daddy. <laughs> they have to fight uh, tomato monsters. I actually don't like tomatoes, so that, that's pretty good. Tomato monsters and onions and things like that. Healthy things. They have to fight healthy things. And they have to get to Recipe Topia. And uh, Buttercream and Sprinkles are not getting along. Sprinkles is beginning to believe that Buttercream came along just so that she could take the the secret donut recipe and Buttercream was trying to tell Sprinkles that that's not why she came. Buttercream came with Sprinkles because she's Sprinkles' friend and now Buttercream feels kind of sad. So halfway there, Sprinkles and Buttercream part ways and Buttercream goes back home and Sprinkles continues on her journey. And a little while later, she finally comes across Recipe Topia, and it's everything that she thought it would be. There are just recipes just floating all around, like, not on pages or anything, it's just the words. Like, if you see the word broccoli casserole, uh, you, if you snatch it out of the air, then you'll have the recipe broccoli casserole in your head. So, now Sprinkles has found uh, recipe Topia, but now she has to find the donut recipe. So she has to look through all of these floaty words so that she can find healthy donuts. Now, Sprinkles is a bit impatient, so about 20 minutes into the search, she's ready to give up. And she's like, God, I will never find the perfect donut recipe. And then she meets an old wise woman named uh, maple syrup. And maple syrup tells her that the only way to find the recipe that she wants is to... Hmm... What does she have to do? Oh, she has to see through the eyes of her enemy. Now, early in the story, Sprinkles was beginning to think that Broccoli Man was right all along and that donuts were not the best food in the universe. So she's kind of already on the right track. She begins to wonder, why does Broccoli Man hate me so much? Why does he hate donuts? And she already knows that he thinks that broccoli is the best food in the universe. And so now she has to find out. She has to find out, not found out. Find out why. Why does Broccoli Man hate donuts so much? And... It just so happens that Broccoli Man is there in Recipe Topia. He was looking for the broccoli casserole recipe, and Sprinkles has it. Broccoli Man has a feeling that Sprinkles has the recipe that he wants, and he thinks that he stole it from him. So they have an epic battle where they're just throwing donuts and broccoli at each other. And then Sprinkles, she stops fighting, and she's like, wait. Here's the recipe you want. I wasn't trying to steal your recipe. I just want a recipe for healthy donuts. And then Broccoli Man's like, Oh, you know what? I saw that on the way over here. And he has it. And so then they trade recipes and then they're best buddies forever. So, yep. I just came up with that story just now. And that's basically how I come up with names and stories for it my characters and it might be a little weird but it works for me and I don't know maybe it'll work for you so yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos like this you can subscribe so yeah thank you for watching and goodbye